See, when it comes to business, Bob himself being a businessman, he knows. He knows what it takes for businesses to operate in a regulatory climate. We have duplicative laws that create more of a hardship for businesses and creating the opportunity of business growth. I'm talking about the overregulation of the state of California and what it's done to the business community and it needs to stop. The taxes aren't the way to go in the state of California. We've already been through that now. What we need to do is create jobs and that means putting money in the pockets of employers, not in the pockets of the government. Um, we've worked with them at the stadium with the Lake Elsinore storm and understand the importance of the small business community and how through a grassroots level that we can, uh, as a small group, make some bigger change. I ask why do we have to have the California Environmental Quality Act when they have the National Environmental Protection Act? It's just duplicative exercises. Bob's been the type of individual that I can go to, get answers to my questions and get resolved on those issues that really do make a difference in our business. Instead of putting our heads in the sand, or complaining, or moving, we took action. We supported candidates for public office. My wife served three terms on the Riverside County Grand Jury, and then began her work with trauma intervention programs. For me, I was elected to Lake Elsinore City Council in 2003, where we took a $1 million operating deficit and turned it into a $6 million surplus in just four years. We doubled our commitment to public safety, putting more boots on the street and building fire stations. Crime went down, our community improved, and the work that we did with many other dedicated professionals has helped to turn our city around. I'd like to say that my wife and I got involved and we made a difference in our community.